Here's an idea. Build one big hodgepodge Frankenstein abomination of a game based on weekly requests from the audience and call it Feature Request The Game. And then make accompanying videos about how those features were made using Unity and Playmaker and calling that video series Feature Request The Game The Show. Yeah, that might be cool. King Couch said, third person camera that follows and has like sprint camera effects, that would be sick. And I gave that comment a thumbs up and a little love and then I was like, the first thing that comes to mind is expanding the field of view of the camera when sprinting, but is there anything else? Like maybe those anime style speed lines? And then King Couch was like, Steven Scott Day dash games. Yeah, those speed lines are sick. So I wrote out a whole fucking script explaining every single step of how I made this thing and explaining how each little thing worked. But I was like, damn, this is so long and there isn't much room for jokes and it takes so much work to do that I'm just I'm just gonna scrap it. But if anyone is interested in getting in the nitty gritty step by step, let me know in the comments and if enough people want it, then I'll do a live stream taking you through the process. I think this would be a good way to go about the series. Let me know what you think. For now though, I got these buildings and sidewalk from the asset store and decided to reuse this neutral player model from the LD46 jam. The method I used to build this character controller is a slightly modified version of a character controller that you can learn how to build by clicking the link in the description. What? No, I didn't scramble around looking for YouTube tutorials to find out how to make a third person controller because I've never made one before and just barely learned how to do this so I can make the video. Come on, we're gonna guide you think I am. But the gist of it is that there's this empty game object called camera pivot at the same spot as the hips of the player model. This acts as the pivot point for the camera. The camera is inside another empty game object that is also at the player hips. This also acts as a pivot point for the camera. Then there's this other empty game object called character pointer which is some ways out in front of the player. This is used to move the character in whatever direction that is pointing. And since it's tied to the camera, you can just hold forward while moving the mouse around to steer the player. The player has three FSMs on it. One FSM called player controller that uses a get axis vector and a translate to move it around. Another FSM called look forward with a couple of states that check the magnitude of that get axis vector from the last FSM. And then using a float compare to decide whether or not to make the player model look and move forward. At the second state, there's a smooth look at to make the player model look forward and another get FSM float and float compare ready to send the FSM back to the previous state. Then there's the FSM called player animations that controls animations for the player and the camera. The first state essentially just making sure the camera position and the field of view are at their default values, and then of course queuing the player's idle animation. The second state is for walking, which happens if you just press the up arrow or W, and listens to see if the player presses left shift so it can send to the run state. Then there's the running state, which activates this particle system on the player, which is just some stretched out particles shooting out behind the player so you could feel like a real life anime person. This state also cues the running animation, duh, and animates the camera so it moves closer to the player while also zooming out to a wider field of view. This state also listens for the player to let go of the forward key or the run key to send the FSM back to either the walking or idle state. And that's it, we got this player that can run around. What next? Leave your suggestion in the comments so next week I can add to this game. Seriously, just throw out any ideas you have and if you dig an idea someone else posted, then give it a thumbs up so I can see which ones y'all really wanna do. And let me just say this, get fucking weird with it. And yeah, don't forget to let me know if you wanna see the live stream for a proper tutorial of how to get this made.